So today I'm going to be talking about the interview process. What kind of questions you can expect in a physiotherapy interview. <laughs> Physiotherapy related interviews, I can't really speak for any other health professions or any other professions for that matter, but some of these questions could definitely be applied to other health professions. So I'm going to be providing questions, potential questions that you can get in a physiotherapy interview and sample answers. Now again, tailor this to your own experiences and your own understanding of whatever health profession you're applying for. So the first and most common question that I got is, what is your understanding of physiotherapy? The definition, the different specialities that exist within the field, different work environments and how diverse it is, skills that you might have to have in order to be a physiotherapist, mention some of the modalities or anything that you really know about the field. The second most common question that I would get in my interviews is, why do you want to be a physiotherapist? And this is an important one because really it gets you thinking, why do you want to be a physiotherapist? Your answer can really range and you can expand on this a lot. So it can be from having an ongoing relationship with your clients um, and seeing their recovery from start to finish, which is pretty rare in some health professions. It could be that it's a more non-invasive, holistic kind of conservative treatment and conservative management, really encouraging the patient's independence and encouraging the body to heal rather than using more invasive techniques like surgery or pharmaceuticals. Another really common question is why do you want to study at our school? So for this question you really have to research, go on the school's website, see what they take pride in, see what the benefits are for graduating from that school, whether that be accreditation when you go back home, or employability after you graduate, it could be the small class sizes, it could be the experienced staff, it could be the variation in assessment methods that they use, maybe to accommodate different learning styles. Really just research what the program is like, what the school is like, what do they have to offer that maybe is not offered in other schools. Try to make your answer genuine. If you're applying to a master's degree, a common question that I was asked is whether I had any research experience in my previous degree. So if you did have research experience in your undergrad, for example, that could be whether you worked on a thesis, whether you had um, research experience through volunteering, if you were a research assistant, and if you had none of that, you can definitely talk about some of the research skills that you were taught in some of your courses. Maybe you conducted a literature review, maybe you did a statistics course. Basically think about the skills that you learned in your undergrad or your previous degree that would help with conducting research in the future. Another question that you could be asked is whether you've had any physiotherapy experience in the past and what was it like and what did you learn from it? So this is where your past experience and your volunteering or your part-time job or whatever it may be comes in really important. Um, and you could be asked about a particular instance, a particular experience, and maybe even asking you for a reflection on the physiotherapists that you were working with and their traits. In a few of my interviews, I was asked specifically about UK-based governing bodies or the UK health system. So you have to do your research if you're applying abroad about their governing bodies. So there, for physiotherapy, it's the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy. You could be asked what the role is of the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy is. You could be asked about the NHS, so the National Health System. So for example, like what are their values? They have a whole constitution that is really accessible. You can just have a quick skim of that and yeah. So another question that I was asked quite a bit is to give an example of how I had to overcome a difficult situation. So for me, I had I really struggled with time management in my first year of my undergrad and I solved that problem by seeking help through the university resources and speaking to a, an academic counselor. It would be really helpful if you spoke from personal experience. I know sometimes it's tempting to make up situations just so that you could answer the question, but if you really dig deep and really think about a time when you struggled and how you got over that, um, your answer will come off much more genuine and you'll do better. What do you think is the most challenging aspect of a physiotherapist's job? Or how do you cope with stress? Or what do you think you can offer the profession? 
what are your personal strengths and weaknesses? They could ask you to tell them about yourself. So what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? They want to see that you have a life, you know? What qualities do you think a physiotherapist should have? How would you deal with a patient that refuses treatment? And what experience do you have working in a team environment? Because physiotherapy is such a multidisciplinary kind of profession, you do work with a lot of other health professionals to help a patient, so teamwork is really important. The very last question that they asked me in every single interview is whether I have any questions for them. And I made sure to have a question every single time. So that could be anything, like don't be afraid to ask questions. It could be about research opportunities at the school, it could be placement related. So if you are planning to study abroad in a program like physiotherapy where you have clinical placements, it might be tough for an international student to commute to some of these placements depending how far they are from the campus. So a lot of schools mention a kilometer radius from the campus that the placements would be but some of them don't and some of them really range. So you could ask about that. Your question could even be accommodation related. Anything that has to do with the university, maybe research the professor ahead of time. That would be a really good idea to get a feel of maybe what they do, what their interests are and ask them about that. My number one piece of advice for interviews and for preparing for interviews is to write everything down. So you can Google these questions, you can take my questions, um, but write your answers out ahead of time. I found it really hard to think off the top of my head, especially in the first interviews that I've done, um, to come up with answers that are good, that are concise, and that encompass everything that I'm thinking. Um, and especially when you're nervous, it's really hard to think on the spot. Well, at least for me. All of my interviews, because I was applying to a school abroad, were uh, Skype interviews, so it was over the computer, which I think is a little bit less nerve-wracking than an in-person interview, so I would definitely get somebody, whether it be a family member, your significant other, your friend, interview you and practice answering questions on the spot. It really helped me to apply to many schools because it really helped me practice, and I got much better at interviews the more I did them. So practice, practice, practice is key to doing well in an interview. Okay, that is it. That is all the advice that I have for you for today. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you again soon.